I want to create a world where we each feel like we do have power to say how we want our data to be handled and used. I was working for the New York Times as a data journalist and I was spending my nights and weekends donating time, helping groups think about surveillance and digital safety and hygiene and security. So I talked to a few people and they were like, there's this Mozilla fellowship, you should look at it. And I thought, you know what, I'll apply. And if I get it, I will dedicate myself to it. Maybe I feel more satisfied doing something good and giving back that way. Long story short, I got it. It's not even hyperbole when I say it changed my life. For me, the Mozilla Fellowship was a natural extension of the personal connection that I have with the work around migration and refugee issues. Because as someone who's crossed borders and, and moved and, and had a migration experience of my own, I've really seen some of the really difficult experiences that people can have. The Mozilla Fellowship is needed to make the internet better, to make technology better, to make algorithms better. All of the fellows in the program have an idea of what they want a digital society to be. And we see that currently we're heading in a direction that we don't like. It feels like this opportunity of a lifetime to rethink a field that touches most of what people do every day. Particularly when we're talking about technologies that have such far-reaching ramifications and around which decisions are made in circles, whether you're talking about Silicon Valley or the European Parliament, that are very, very far away from the daily reality of people's lives. It is giving a podium for all the technologists to serve to the public. One of the amazing things about bringing people together is it amplifies the collective voice. To bring perspectives that are otherwise not welcome into the discussion. The people who organize the fellowship bring together a mesh of backgrounds and lived experiences, different demographics and different regions of the world in such a way that the fellows can really learn from each other in addition to being heads down doing our own work. It's really a community and it's a fairly tight-knit community given we come from disparate backgrounds and have disparate interests. That's what I'm hoping to connect my fellowship to, is helping broader tech community to understand the deep well of, of uh, information, creativity, support, environments that exist within the indigenous community globally. For my work to have impact is to collaborate with other disciplines and other professionals that have different perspectives. The fellowship has been eight months of really interesting and really intense learning. It really changed everything for me. It will change you forever. It'll change what you end up doing afterwards, regardless of what that is. The world of technology today is very murky, very unregulated, so it's like a battlefield. And what Mozilla has allowed me to do is given me like this armor and these tools and these weapons to kind of, you know, take that world head on. What Mozilla was trying to do was very similar to what Ford was trying to do. They were just using different tools. Helping along what might naturally take years to happen by bringing people together who can take that work into the world and push it forward even when they're no longer associated with Mozilla or with SFE. I think the really big impact of the fellowship is more of trying to get those solutions and then implementing them locally. The biggest thing that Mozilla Fellowship has given me is the time not just to do what I love, but to do the work that I know really needs to be done.